Hi, I'm Peggy O'Reilly. I am a rec planner with Vermilion Cliffs National Monument. I have been here for about six years. I was a park ranger before this. Vermilion Cliffs National Monument is part of the Arizona Strip District, which is the part of Arizona, the northwest part that is cut off from the rest of the state by the Grand Canyon and the Colorado River. And Vermilion Cliffs is the very eastern part of the Arizona Strip District. We are surrounded by the uh, Kaibab National Forest. We have the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. We have uh, Glen Canyon and Lake Powell. Um, we have the Grand Canyon just south of here. Vermilion Cliffs is 280,000 acres. Uh, mostly made up of the Priya Plateau is the largest part of Vermilion Cliffs. We have no paved roads. Um, we have one main road, House Rock Valley Road uh, 1065, which runs north and south for about 30 miles. And sometimes you can get down it in two-wheel drive and other times you're not going to make it even with four-wheel drive. It's all based on recent weather um, as far as the road conditions that's minimally maintained. And then besides House Rock Valley Road, we have other roads that will head up onto the Priya Plateau. And those are very deep, sandy roads, so you definitely want to have four-wheel drive if you are heading up there. Vermilion Cliffs National Monument is part of the BLM, the Bureau of Land Management, which means that we are different from a national park. We don't have any visitor centers here. You may run into rangers while you're here, but you also may not. We're pretty remote. This is an area for people that are looking for space, that are looking to just get out and enjoy nature. We have a lot of wilderness, the Priya Canyon Vermilion Cliff Wilderness. We have three permit areas. Uh, one of them is the Wave, which most people are familiar with in Coyote Buttes North. We also have Coyote Buttes South, and we have the Priya Canyon Overnight. And all three of those are hikes into wilderness. We are part of the Colorado Plateau, so this would be considered high desert. The elevation is from around 3,000 and going up to around 7,000 up on the plateau. To get to Vermilion Cliffs, we are an hour, we are going to be an hour east of Kanab, Utah, and an hour west of Page, Arizona. Most people that visit are either going to stay at one of those places or they could be camping here. We don't have any campgrounds on Vermilion Cliffs. We have state line campground which is right on House Rock Valley Road and is right on the border of Arizona and Utah. And then there is also White House Campground, which is on Highway 89, um, and that's by the Priya Contact Station, which is the closest uh, facility that we have out here, but that is only open um, seasonally. Dispersed camping is permitted on BLM in previously disturbed areas, but there aren't tons of spots for dispersed camping at Vermilion Cliffs because we don't have many roads, and many of the roads that we do have are such deep sand that they're hard to get to. So when you look at Vermilion Cliffs on a map, it looks like a bigger area, and you could see a lot of roads, and you would think that you have a lot of choices but there's, there's just not always gonna be as many as you would think there might be. Kanab, Utah, which is about an hour east of here, and there are plenty of hotels and Airbnbs and um, places to stay there. And then Page, Arizona is an hour east of here and also has plenty of hotels and Airbnbs and things like that. If you are following House Rock Valley Road, most people probably start from the north from Utah and drive down from Highway 89. You'll go about eight miles until you get to the Wire Pass Trailhead, and that's where there is um, day hiking. You can start from there. If you are day hiking into Buckskin, you can get a day pass right there. You need to have a recreation.gov account 
already because once you're there, then you can scan a QR code. But uh, there's very limited service while you're here, and so it's a lot easier to have a to have a recreation.gov account set up before you get here. Um, and then if you continue another couple miles south, you'll get to the state line of Arizona and Utah, and that's where the state line campground is. Uh, and then if you continue further down House Rock Valley Road, about 20 miles below there, you'll reach the Condor Viewing Site, and that's where you can see up on the cliffs where the condors are released each year. Many times you can see condors flying around there, not always, but um, you would want to bring your binoculars to see because the cliffs are about a mile away. And then it's just another couple miles and then you're going to get to Highway 89A, which is really the only paved road that, um, that you can see the monument from.